so let us work on how we can detect the active uh, radio or the active icon in this video the active direction first of all I have uh, written a class of select active the color is white and the bit has a background of blue as well as the border radius of 50% so any of this uh, 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 SVG icon which is active or anyone who click on this one it must have the uh, style of select active and uh, it will apply this style for that so then how you will detect the the click button here is the click we, so I have already done it I will just explain it for you I say if someone click on you just call a function and the function will send an ID an ID of one for example this is the one the the first one this is the second one and this is the third one and this is the fourth one it will send the ID to the function of select me and then in the component the ts file I have the function here so the function is here select me and I have an ID here and every time someone send the ID just update the ID and change the value for example if someone send two the ID of this one should become two and if someone click on the third one it should be third one so then we have an ID based on the ID we can see which one of the uh, uh, direction are active so that's why it will just change the ID here so and then we will uh, use the conditional select uh, class here you can just see ng class and you can just write a condition here the condition would be like if we have an select active here yeah, or um, simply if ID is equal to 1 just add the, act the select active if the ID is equal to 2 select active if the ID is equal to 3 select active like that so as you can see for the first one if the ID is equal to 1 this one is going to be going to have the select uh, active and if the ID is equal to 2 which we click on this one and this one would be active the 3 and the 4 and the same thing so if you save it and open it in the browser as you can see we have it here so I will refresh it again uh, to make sure everything is working just fine now we have the first one selected and it has the background of blue as well as 50% uh, uh, border radius then I click on this one this one will become active this one will become active and this one will become active that is how you can detect the active using conditional uh, attribute uh, here so that's it for this video and in the next video we will customize how you display the code here and make it uh, look more beautiful like the one you see here so see you in the next video